Hello. Is this thing on? This one? No, there's no tech crew. It's just me. So anyway, welcome back to Kitchen Classes with Melissa. I think that's what we're calling it. Or we could call it COVID Kitchen Classes with Melissa. Or Classics during the COVID era. Kitchen Classes with Melissa. I don't know. We're working on that. We're working on that. But welcome back. Today, um, we're going to do a ballet class geared toward pirouettes. And don't be afraid if you don't like to pirouette or if you're not even doing pirouettes yet, I'll give you various versions of the exercise to either work on the skills for pirouettes or to work on your pirouettes. All right, so let's get going. And with that said, whether you like it or not, here come the puns because you would be nuts if you didn't think that I get up oily in the morning just to make the worst puns possible. However, orange you glad that you're here with me to take ballet class? Orange you glad you are a part of this? See what I did there? Now I just wanna unpack this final pun for you because you can use a part, which is two words, meaning you are a part of it, or we can use a part as in one word, as in I was taking the orange apart. You see what I did there? So it was like a pun within a pun. It was like a Russian nesting doll of puns. So anyway, let's get on with the fruit of our labors. Okay, now, this is not for a pun. This is actually a prop. If you would like to grab a jar or something that weighs about a pound or a can of beans or your heavy bottle of water, go ahead and use that. We'll be using a little bit of extra weight when we do our port de bras just so that we can feel our back working a little bit more because that's going to help us with our pirouettes also. Before we begin, please understand that dance can be a strenuous activity and please know that if you choose to participate in this class or any online dance class, that you should have adequate space and you should have proper floor surfaces so that you don't hurt yourself, right? But also, it's very important to listen to your body, participate at your own pace, and modify if necessary. I'm not there to observe you, so you have to use your best judgment. I wish I were there because then we wouldn't be apart, we'd be together and that would be the best, totally the best, but we're not. So be smart and be careful. All right, grab your prop and come on back. Are you back? Okay, good. See, that's the miracle of video. You can just pause me, whatever. I think a lot of people wish they could just pause me. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna start our kitchen ballet class. It is geared toward pirouettes. So things that I want to find today, is like that zipping up feeling, like your own internal elevator coming up, 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 up. Things like your inner thighs pressing together. Um, stuff that we call like our core muscles being engaged. Your tummy, you like to think of maybe lifting your belly button towards your backbone. We're gonna work on your smart feet and how you can flick and use your feet on the floor and through the floor and that will help you pirouette as well. And we'll of course work on some placement stuff to make sure that we're well placed over our standing legs so that we can later on pirouette. Um, we're gonna work on all kinds of stuff. So to get going, I am going to maybe use a chair or a counter, whatever's best for you, but for now, I'm gonna face you, okay? You can face your chair, you can face your counter. We're gonna do a demi-plie to get started, and I want you to use smart feet to Pull that foot up toward you, almost like a tiny pot of cheval action of the foot. So we're going to do three of those. One, two, plie, three. Two, two, plie, three. Three, two, and three. Time to front, front from your plie, and then back to your plie. Repeat. One, two, down, three. Two, two, down, three. This is my invisible ballet bar. Three, two, and three. Time to back. Plie. One, two, down, three. Two. Two down, three, three, two down, three. I look a little bit like a, I'll do my Easter bunny hands. Tandu arabesque. 
and release your ballet bar or whatever you're holding on to. Put your hands on your shoulder. And I want you to imagine and feel your releve before you actually do it. Releve up and lower down and releve up and lower down. One, two, down, three, two, two, down, three, three, two, down, three, left leg front. You see how I kind of lead forward with my fourth position? Yes. And one, two, down, three, two, two, down, three, three, two, down, three, second. And one, two, down, three, two, two, down, three, three, two, down, three, arabesque, plie. Release your bar or your countertop. Releve and plie and releve and plie. Very important that we also start thinking of in our plie to not go too deep. So you're not gonna try and make it deeper by perhaps losing this. So I really wanna feel very tall. Well, that was not a good demonstration. I'll do that again. Very tall, okay? All right, so keeping that nice and tall, you're already gonna feel those rotation muscles working inside your thighs. You wanna keep your head on top of everything else. And we're gonna hold our arms on our shoulders and kind of like our second position, a little bit forward of us so that we're not popping our ribs, right? Nice straight line. Okay, here we go, friends. Waking up your feet, little demi-plie to begin. Touch your ballet bar, we'll start with your right foot. Here we go, right foot. One, two, down, three. Two, two, down, three. Three, two, down, three, turn to front. And one. And two, and three, tendu second, and one, and two, and three, tendu back, release your bar, plie, find your balance first, releve. So we find our balance in our plie, yes? One, two, down, three, two, two, down, three, three, tendu to the front, and one, two, down, three, two, two, down, three, three. Alasakon. Good job. One, two, three. Tell you back and release. Find your balance. Releve. Plie. Releve. Good job. Demi plie. Finish. And you're done. Good. Nice. If you ever wanted to do that again uh, in a fifth position, that would be great as well. So you would just have a little bit more of an overcross in that position and use more of your fourth and then back to your third or fifth position plie. But for time, we're gonna move on. But just know that you could always rewind it and do that again. Okay, let's go in for our plies, demi and grand plie. And this is when it'd be really nice to use your one pound weight or your can or your jar of, uh, hmm, what is it, marmalade? Perhaps it's marmalade or a lemon curd, that's kind of yummy too. Mmm, apple butter. All right, so what we're gonna do is with your outside arm, you're gonna have your can, and that extra weight is gonna make you very aware of both sides of your waistline, I am hoping. Demi-plie, arm to first, and open that arm again. Demi-plie, and open that arm to second. Grand plie, keeping your head tall, and your Corner bra comes down through the center and then up through the center and open. Releve. Now, I want you to squish your legs together in this weird first position. So you releve in first position, but I'm going to scoop in. I'm going to feel like my heels and my inseams kissing. Yep, and I'm going to press those legs together in releve. Quarter bra forward, keeping my legs pressing together. Let my head finish my spine. Reach out to come up. That extra weight makes me work really hard. And plie. And time to second and second. Demi plie and open. Demi plie and open. Grand plie staying tall. I'm not going to try and reach lower to the floor than I'm able to. Plie. This is fun. Are you ready? Be careful of your floor surface. But we are going to go to susu. Look at that magic trick. Huh? Can we try that again? So from here like the ultimate susu. Susu means over under, one leg is coming in front, one leg is coming in back, like that. So susu. Oh, I could have done better. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna susu. Okay, I have one ankle, two heels. I'm gonna quarter bra forward my susu, pressing leg against leg. Reach down, reach out to come up. 
That's a lot of work with that extra little bit of weight and open. Now, remember the flicky foot position that we did earlier? Now you're gonna do it from susu. You're gonna to flip to coup de pied, back down to susu. Scoop and lift, back down to susu. Scoop and lift, you're gonna find a little balance and close it back. Other side, please. Scoop, back down to susu. Scoop, back down to susu. Scoop and lift, this is gonna feel awesome. Your inside leg is up, but your outside leg has your spaghetti sauce. And you find your balance and you lower down. It actually feels really interesting to have both sides of the waist working like that, and it really helps. All right, I am going to do both sides with you. So I'm gonna start with my right side, and then I'll start the music over, and we'll do the left side. Okay, left hand on your kitchen counter or ballet bar. Here we go. And prepare seven, eight, demi plie, down, and open, and demi. And open and grand. And through first position, releve, kiss those heels. Mwah! Quarter bra forward. All the way down. Feel those legs pressing against each other. Come on up. Demi plie, tandy second, second. Oof. And gentle first and open. Here comes our grand plie. Demi, grand, and demi, and plie susu. Both legs move. Susu, quarter bra forward. Reach out to come up. Now we're already in that closed position. So you can plie, make fifth or third. Demi plie, and open. Demi plie, open, grand plie. Demi, grand, rise up, make susu, and cross, you have one ankle, two heels, right, we shouldn't see the legs apart, quarter bra forward, out to come up, and scoop the front foot, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see me, scoop those toes, right to ring, Woo. Maybe I can find a little balance there. I don't know, maybe, maybe. Pass it to the back. Shake it out a little bit, best releve. Arm in first, scoop the toes, scoop. Bring it up to a tire. Can you find it? Can you find a little balance? Release that ballet bar. Ooh, interesting. One final time. And scoop the outside leg, scoop. Draw it up to passe. And we find a little balance. And balance, 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 lower down. And finish nicely. Remember, you even wanna dance all the way to the end. Yes. Okay, move your chair or move you or whatever you need to do to do side two. I didn't know that was gonna rhyme, but it did, so that's nice. Okay, here we go. You have your arms slightly in front of you. So, not directly out of the shoulder, but a little in front of you. Keep your belly button lifting. Belly button lifting toward your lower back. Neck tall and releve, rise. Press the legs together. Tall legs, quarter bra forward. Bring everything out to come up. That's a challenge. And seconds. Plie. Grand plie with a regular port de bras on bas. Bring the arm to first position. That extra weight you also feel in those plies, right? Plie susu. Draw it in. Port de bras forward in our susu. Reach out to come up. Aha! That's a challenge. Now leave it in your fifth or third position. Demi plie. Shoulder down, even as you use your port de bras. Demi to grand. Releve. Cross it to susu. Now make sure that the back foot doesn't sickle toward the pinky toe. Keep it pointed. 
Put him up forward. Exhale. Up to come up. Coup de pied. Scoop those toes. Scoop. Draw it up to right to right. Find a little balance. Find a little balance. Pass it to the back. Keep a turned out back leg. And coup de pied. Retire, find a balance. I'm just laughing at myself because I'm having issues. And find, find a balance. Ah, earthquake. And plie, one more time. Susu. Back to coup de pied. Back to retire. And find a balance. Ooh, find a balance. Ah, oh, pasta sauce. Ah, oh, pasta sauce. And finish. Oh, stretch out those calves a little bit while I find the next music. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. That was good stuff. All right. The next thing I want to work on is this idea of. You're not going to play on me out. Okay, good. The next thing I'd like to work on is this idea of the leg coming from another position and then finding that red to red from basically anywhere. All right, we just want to really be able to find that retire. Retire and passe, maybe you've heard them used interchangeably, and that's okay. So maybe your school says passe, or you've grown up hearing passe. It can also be called retire. Retire is that position where your leg is drawn up to the knee. Passe means to pass. So that's also you pass through that position uh, around the knee. So they're the same, Most, mm, mas or menos. All right, so we are going to do tendu, plie fourth, strong dégagé, back to retiré. So, all one. Let me do my right leg so you can see it. Well, it's going to look like my right leg. Here I go. So this is how it's going to feel, right leg. Tendu front, plie in four, push dégagé, and retiré. Hold five, down six, tendu and seven, tendu and eight, tendu one, and two. Push to dégagé, passe, hold, and uh, let's close it back. Why not? Doesn't matter. Let's close it front. And then close front, and then close back. Tendu one, plié four, dégagé, retiré, close, and in and in. Tendu one, plié, dégagé, retiré. Let's go front of knee again. So we're going to practice front of knee more because that's where our ande or pirouette usually is, foot in front of the knee, and down, close it back and close it front. Coolio, coolio. All right, let me just double check, that's what we're doing. <laughs> yes, that is what we're doing. I think we're gonna do it two times in a row. Is that okay? You might get hot and sweaty. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay to be hot and sweaty, right? That's a good workout. Things I want you to think about, now this is gonna be a little bit crazy because we normally think about our hips trying so hard to be equal and we should think about our hips being equal but what I want you to think about is as you dégagé I want you to almost think of your standing hip being higher than your working extended leg hip it's not going to happen it's not going to happen if you're focusing on lifting us up higher you're not really going to make it higher but you are going to keep it tall which is what we want that's our goal so that being said, tendu front and plie, we don't want to feel like we're doing this. We want to keep that down. We want to keep this turned out. And I'm pretending that I want my standing side higher than my working side. Then when I come to retiré, boom, I have a nice equal. If you, if you can see my skirt waistline is on the horizon, I don't have part of my waistline up here. Okay, so that's my goal. All right, nice tall standing leg keeping the legs low in arabesque. You're gonna feel like you have a very, very low leg. I shouldn't maybe even say arabesque. Maybe I should say dégagé back so that you don't get all fancy about it. But from your dégagé, I want you to feel how tall you can be, not about getting the leg high, but about getting that beautiful, beautiful placement. Notice how my second position isn't completely side. It's more to my second position. It is in my alisacone, slightly in front of me position not straight to the side. All right, tendu, plie fourth, push retire and hold, 
one tendu, two tendu. We do it all the way around. Front, side, back, and side. That's called en qua. Here we go. It's gonna be fun, fun, fun. We're probably gonna do it twice. So just make your mind up right now that you're in this one for the duration. Here we go. Here we go, my friends. Time to plie, decolleté, retiré, hold down. Time to close, time to close. Time to plie, decolleté, retiré, hold down. And we end up to the back. Time to plie, decolleté, retiré, hold down. Time to, time to. Second, plie, decolleté, hold. Can we go again? Time to, to the front, front. Plie, degage, passe, hold, up, in, up, in, tendu, plie, degage, passe, hold, end up to the front, then the back, one, two, three, four, hold, five, six, and seven, last set, one, two, three, four, down, six, seven, eight, plie, can we go to susu, arm to first, Scoop both legs up. Please find a balance. Float the arms to high fifth. Float the arms to second. Look to your outside hand. Plie finish. And finish. Stay. All right, good, side two. Woo, move you or move your chair. Here we go. And. Tendu, plie, dégagé. Right to your right and hold it. Da -dee, da -dee. One, two, three, four, five, down six. Da -dee, da -dee. One, two, three, nice and tall. Five, da -dee, da -dee. one, two, degage. Once again, please, here we go. Tandu, plie, push. I think I forgot something, but that's okay. And time to plie, degage, passe, hold, and we end up arabesque. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, ah, uh, seven, ah, uh, eight, one, two, three, four. I should end up front of my knee. Seven, eight, plie, susu. Find a little balance. Yes, yes, keep the shoulders down. Float the hands away from you and then up. Let's look toward our outside hand when not touching a counter and finish. Brilliant, moving on. All right, know that you can always pause this and get a sip of water. Or if you thought, shoot, I didn't quite get that one, go back, repeat it. It's good, I'll wait here. I'll wait right here, go ahead, do it. Okay, are you back? All right, cool. All right, that was a good one. So the nice thing about that degage front that we just did, we were basically learning how to pull that thigh to second or pull that thigh back without hopefully the hip doing it, right? So it's the thigh moving inside the hip, not the hip pulling us back. All right, so. Do, 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 do. Jete, oh, so now you can pretend that this is a center combination. So you don't really need to use your chair or your counter or whatever. Doesn't matter, right? Just get it out of the way. We are gonna do four jeté or dégagé. Again, either is perfectly fine. If you say jeté, that means to throw. Or if you say dégagé, that means to disengage or lift apart from the floor. They're both correct, all right? So it just depends on how your teacher uses it in class. Jeté four times, and then we're gonna go front, back, front and fifth, back to first. I'm gonna have my hands lightly on my shoulders. I'm gonna make sure that I feel like my elbows are a little in front of me, not side of me. I'm gonna think about my tummy lifting and supporting, like I'm kind of doing this on the front of me, and I'm kind of doing this, and I'm lengthening the back of me. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not forcing my turnout. Jeté four and three and two and one. Jeté front, jeté back and front, back to first. Shift over one and two and three and four. I close it front, back, front, first and one and two and three and four. 
front, back, front, and first, and one, and two. So as you can see, we're gonna do that a lot of times. All right, I just want you to start feeling shifting over onto your standing leg or shifting over on your standing leg. Can you try this? Hopefully you have a mirror handy or you can look at your reflection in the oven door. I don't know. Um, as you lift your leg, again, just like we said in right to right, we don't wanna feel like the working hip gets higher. We almost wanna feel like the other hip gets higher. And the reason is then I don't have to do wiggle, 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 wiggle to make my jeté. I shift and I keep my hips on the level. And I kind of like wearing these ballet skirts because it reminds me of where my waistline is. So I'm, when I'm looking in the mirror, or in this case, when I'm looking into the camera, I can notice if this is happening, right? Or if it's staying nice and quiet. That's my goal. All right, so we are gonna do that many, many times. In the end, we're gonna do plie in first position. And we're gonna go plie in first position and we're gonna go right foot front and susu. Susu. We're gonna hold two, three, four. A little hop back to first, two, three, four. And these little pulses, don't think of bouncing as much as finding your plie, being relaxed. Finding your plie, being relaxed. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One, two. Or one and two. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, we're going to get better at that balance. I fell over. But after a few practices, I will start to find my center. All right, so we're going susu from first and then alternating each side. All right, that is going to be some fun. Breathe now. Breathe while you're dancing, but also get ready. Jete and two and three and four. Close front, back, front, first. And left, right side, right, two, three, four, close it front, close it back, close it front, and first. One, two, three, four, close it front, close it back, close it front, close it first. One, two, three, four, close it front, back, front, first. One, two, three, four, front, back, keep going. How's it doing? Is it getting better? Front, back, front, first. Can we do our arms in first? Here we go, arms first. Front, back, front. Front, back, front, and bounce. Two, three, four, releve. Keep going, friends. Bounce, two, three. Can you go right foot front? Right foot front. And again, bounce, two, three, four, up. Here we go, up, bounce, two, three, four, right foot front, two, three, four. First, 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 left, front, plie in first, two, three, four, su, su, two, three, four, first, two, three, four, su, su, two, ah, again, first, two, three, four, su, su, ooh, that's getting better, first, two, three, four, su, su, two more times, you can do it, and first, two, three, four, hop, and first, two, three, four, hop, uh, <laughs> what, all right, I was getting so excited because we were doing so well. And then that happened. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? That was very good. Hmm. That was great, actually. Moving on, we're still going to think of this as the center. Now, hopefully, you guys know what a frappe is. Um, frappe is striking the floor. And some of my maybe younger dancers out there, maybe you haven't learned frappe, maybe you want to skip this exercise, whatever, or your ball of your foot is going to strike the floor, out to a degage, and then you're going to reset. You're only going to brush on the way out, you're not going to brush on, on the way in. And this is basically your Shirley Coutipier shape with a gently relaxed foot. We are going to do four frappes front, then we're going to hold for four counts, 
out in that degage height. So you're going to do frappe one, two, three, four. You're going to hold that degage height, quarter bra, quarter bra, quarter bra, and prepare. Now you go second, second frappe, second, 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 arms to first, high fifth, a la seconde, prepare back of ankle. And this is the hard one, guys. But also, this is where we find out how our placement is. Keep your belly button lifted. Back. Two, three, four. Arms already in first. That's fine. Fifth and second and first. Plie. Now, this is exciting. We are going to susu, but we're going to change the feet. Change the feet. So I had my right foot back. I'm going to susu, and I'm going to end up with my left foot front. Susu. No, my right foot front. I'm sorry. As being dancer dyslexic. We are going to prepare. I have my right leg and my right arm in front, and I'm going to close, and I'm going to prepare. And if you wish, you can either do balance again, or if you wish, you can turn to the right with your right leg lifted. So you're going to turn to the right with your right leg lifted, close to the back, prepare. Again, you do not need to do a pirouette. All right, if you want to just work on that releve balance, and if some of us get a little bit of like motion sickness when we do pirouette, don't pirouette, just work on your placement. Because a pirouette is a combination of a perfect storm of arms and placement and strength of the ankle. And again, learning that balance and then the right amount of push. Or as we would, you know, say circular push, like twerk, twerk. All right, that's a fun word. All right, so four frappe and then the balance. Again, which hip did we want higher? The working hip or the standing hip? Standing hip. So as we do this balance, you want to make sure that you're not holding the balance by the reaching out, but you want to keep that hip down and back and feeling that equalness. It's going to be hard, especially in arabesque. You know what we want to do in arabesque? I know. And then we go, because our standing leg isn't holding that turn out. So, because we're doing this in the center, it is an extra hard workout than when you have one hand on the ballet bar. So, that's good. That's very good. It's also good to sometimes dance on a slippery floor because guess what? You are holding your turn out, not the stickiness of your feet on the floor. So, you're holding your turn out. Frappe to strike. We do four frappe. And here we go. Tandu second to prepare. Right leg. Tandu second, prepare. One, two, three, stay four. Quarter bra, quarter bra, quarter bra, prepare. One, two, three, stay four. Oh, I think I should have done another propping. I owe you one. And one, two, three, four. Quarter bra, quarter bra, quarter bra. Plie back, change your sisu. Maybe a balance, maybe a turn. Other side, one. Two, three, four. Check, 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 check. And one, two, three, four. Check that balance. Back, behind you, in that little arabesque. One, two, three, close back, four. Plie, susu. Left leg, left arm. Practice, maybe you turn left. Practice, oh, I wanna try that again. Left leg. Left leg, I'm gonna to go to the left. Left, that was a wee bit better. Wee bit, it was a wee bit. All right. Oh, that was hard stuff. All right, ooh, I don't even wanna do this one. I don't wanna do it. You're not gonna make me do it, are you? Okay, we'll do it. <sighs> Fine. We wanna to push to retire, and we wanna try and hold it for two and three, Plie on four. So, the last music we were doing. So, if we go one, two, three, down four. One, two, three, down four. One, two, three, down four. Basically, I'm gonna fall in every direction possible until things get better. I'm gonna go back where I belong now. Why was I sneaking up on you like that? Do you guys remember this one from Sesame Street? Near far. You remember that one? Near far. It's good to know 
that, you know. I could get a job as a Muppet. I wonder if that pays well. I'll look into it. All right. Engineer, just kidding. All right. Ah, uh, retory on the one, or passe on the one. Here we go. I'm breathing. Good idea, Melissa. Breathe. If in doubt, breathe. Plie, go one, two, three, down, four. Go one, two, three. I'm trying. Four. And one, two, three, four. One. I'm going to do the other side. Here we go. Other side. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm trying. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Ha ha. Just kidding. Oh, that was hard. Why did you make me do that? Okay. Ron Dijamin Center. This is going to be a little tricky, people. You're going to have to put on your thinking caps. You do not have to change your wall facings if you don't want to. But this is what I'm going to do. And if you want to do it with me, great. And if you don't, fine. Because what I want to do is that as I run to Tom, I want to face a new wall. So I'm going to do Tom do one, two, three, four. New wall, one, two, three, four. New wall, one, two, three, four. New wall, one, two, three, four. We should do four of those. So I'm actually facing the real walls of my kitchen, even though the camera's on the diagonal. So sorry about that. You're going to have to be super smart. Um, but I will be facing front. Now, when I use my right leg, which right now I'm kind of mirroring you, as I use my right leg, I am going to turn and face my new wall toward my right leg. So if I'm using my right leg, I will be turning right. And if I'm using my left leg, I will be turning left. And the reason I want to feel that, and I'm hoping maybe you can peek at your screen, come real close, closer, closer, closer. Come on in, come on in, watch my feet. What I want to feel is like the weight is in the balls of my feet. And as I tandu, my right leg is going to tandu and push. And because the ball of my foot is leading this way, it actually pushes me the other way, right? But, and this is a big but. What? Did you say I had a big but? No. All right, fine, whatever. But what we want to do is as you tandu front, you don't want to over turn in this, this other leg, right? So it's going to want to be too helpful and it's going to want to keep going. You got to hold it up in that first position. All right, so you hold it in that first position, finish your round jump, find first position, new first position, front side back first, front side back first, front side back first. Now, this is what we do after the four round jumps. Plie, passe, I'm sorry, I lied, but just a tiny lie, just a tiny lie. It was the arms. We're going to do plie, leave the arms in first, passe. Promenade around the room. Now, promenade, I'm going to move back so you can see my foot moving. I only move my heel when I do promenade. I do not do toe, heel, toe, heel. That is, first of all, that's a recipe for disaster. And that's a kitchen joke. <laughs> recipe for disaster, people. So we're only going to move our heel, 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 okay? That is like a slow motion pirouette. All of us moves together. Hopefully you've studied promenade. It's kind of an advanced idea, but this is kind of an advanced idea class. So there you go and there you have it. <clears throat> All right. So what happens after that, Melissa? Oh, I will tell you, friends. After you do your promenade all the way around, ay ay ay, really? Yes, really. You promenade, 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 promenade. You celebrate the fact that you haven't fallen over yet. And we're gonna do fondue or plie on the standing leg. Look at my skirt, it hasn't tipped. It's still straight across. Releve up, 
lower down to first, and then we do side two. All right, so let me put that all together for you. I know that was a lot, but that's okay. You can handle it, and I'll talk you through it. Change to the first wall immediately. One and two and three and close. Two and two and three and close. Three and two and three and close. Four and two and three and close. Bond you to the front and passe. You can maybe even get a head start on your promenade. Ooh, see, that was a really nice moment when I kind of felt myself being back here. And I'm like, wait a minute, all of me has to be moving together. You promenade all the way around, you promenade all the way around. If you don't mind, I'll face you. If that doesn't bother you, just it doesn't make me nervous, right? Fondue, I'm gonna feel like all of me lifts up together, releve, back to first position, and then I'll start side two. Oh, that is a lot. I think we can do it though. Everyone take a sip of water before we go. I feel like Ron de is when everything starts to come together and be challenging. I really do. Rond de jambe, round of leg. Here we go. <laughs> Silly rabbit, that wasn't Ron de jambe music. This'll be better. I'm gonna start with that right foot and I'm gonna face a new wall. And one, and two, and three, first position. And one, two, all of me is moving together, first position. And one, two, three, last and final, facing front, your personal front. A personal front, and fondue. And up, and find your balance, promenade. All of you going around together, we'll give you a little time to catch up. We're not gonna rush you, finish your promenade. No, seriously, we'll wait. You good? You ready, fondue? Little releve, everything goes up together. Rise, catch, lower. I gotta back up, I'm being too close. And one, second with that foot, and back. Close first. New one, two, three. Close first. New one, two, three. Close first. New one, two, three. And brush to the front. Find and brush front. Tall hips. Bring it into red to ray. Start your promenade. Everything moves around together. All right, I'll wait for you. Take your time. You don't want to cheat. You want to just make sure all of you comes around. A little fondue. Bring everything up together. Up together. Catch it in first. Let's just shake out those arms. Demi second. And close. Let's bring the arms first. And second. And third. And third, high third, just enjoy it. Even if you can't watch me, let's take our arms to second, wherever you ended up, take them to second, and then float your little petals down lightly. Thank you. Good job. Okay, shake out those legs. How did that, how did that feel? That was a challenge. That's okay. You know what, there's something for everyone there. <laughs> ah, ballet. Mm. Rambatma three times and a releve retiré. Melissa, why all the retirés? Because we're working on our pirouettes. That's why. All right. Um. Oh, and this one has another susu changé in it, which is good because we practiced that earlier. And we're actually going to do a real live pirouette this time. So I'm going to face you just for funsies. We're going to take our arm first and then high fifth. Rambatma one, tandu down. Rambatma two, tandu down. Rambatma three, I'm going to leave my arms in fifth because it makes me plie tall. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. I was like, okay, I'm in plie, what am I going to do? Push to retreat. Bam, back down. One, and a close. And two, and a close. And three, and plie. We'll go back of knee, back of knee, and down. But we're not going to do back of knee. Nope, get that hip down. 
and one grandbat ma and two grandbat ma and three grandbat ma. Let's not do the retire. Instead of the retire, do your susu change. I'm gonna back up so you can see that. Instead of your retire, susu change. Prepare. You have your right arm front, you have your right foot front. You are gonna push to retire and prepare and push to retire and pirouette to the right toward your right leg. All right, so friends and family, what were we working on? Plie without the tushy going back, right? Scooping the toes, so having some active push in those toes. In this rond de jambe, when we pushed, that's the same kind of push that we do on the floor. Just spiral and push us up to that right to right. Oh my gosh. That's some good stuff. All right, so grand bama three times and a releve right to right. Front, side, and back. And pirouette and fist. All right, there's a kitty cat right over here. He might wander into the frame. So if you're allergic, I'm sorry. If you have cat allergies and you sneeze, it's Mr. Seymour. Okay, here we go. Grand bama, right leg front, arms in high fist. I think we're gonna do both legs, both sides. So if your pirouette, is awesome, you still have to get down within the music. All right, so that's another chance. All right, I got really nasally Wisconsin there for a moment. All right, let's do that. Okay. All right. Grand bat ma. Arms in high fifth. One, two, three, right to right. Pow. One, you guys can go higher if you wish, two, three, Red to right, hit our best. One and two, Grandma. Ma. Su su su. Su su, get ready. Can you practice it once? Now go. Go for it. Here, what right? Okay, team. High fifth. One, ma, ma. Two, ma, ma. Red to right. Pa. One. Two. Red to right. Pa. Arabesque arm. One. Two. Ha ha. I kick the oven. Three. Su su. And left leg, hop, and again, hop. Do you want to try the left leg again one more time? Left leg front, plie push, lead, chase. One more time left, lead, chase. Finish, <laughs> finish, nailed it, nailed it. I nailed it. I don't care what you saw. All right. It's okay. It's just kitchen ballet class. Nobody but Seymour. Paying attention? All right. Here what from fifth. Oh, this is a sneaky one. And I'm gonna have to give you guys a turning version and a no turning version. Or a half turn, half not turn version. All right, so we are gonna do a pirouette from fifth. This time, instead of closing the pirouette, in front where we started, we're going to close the pirouette in back. So let me show you how that looks. I'm going to do a plie. I'm going to do lead with my front arm, chase with my second arm. So pirouette, lead, chase, close back. Did you see that one more time? My right foot was front and I'm going to do lead, chase, close back. How'd that go? Good. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is a susu with my back leg over crossing a little bit and my front leg over crossing a little bit. And that's gonna make me continue to turn to my right. Boom, boom. Look, I have that same foot front again. What? Oh, my mind is blown. All right, so demi plie. I pirouette with my right foot ending back. I back suit new. I end up with my right foot front again. Pirouette, I close it back, I end it front. Pirouette, close it back, I end up front. Arms down, arms brush, brush through your demi-second, to your écarté. The tendu from the back. I'm gonna take my tendu from the back and I'm gonna bring it to second position. And I might even get a little fancy écarté diagonal here. I'm gonna look up at my high hand, the same high hand that goes with the tendu. And I'm gonna close that foot in front. Guess what? Now the left foot is in front. 
and I pirouette to the left, and I back sutenu to the left. I do three sets of that. So first set, pirouette, close back, and detourne or sutenu, pirouette, close it back, going right uh, left with my sutenu, pirouette, closing back, sutenu, and prepare my back leg from my plie. I'm squeaking, you can hear the squeaking of my shoes. Squish. I'm going to tendu, and I'm going to look over my fingertips at the high hand, the same high hand of the tendu, and I'm going to close it front. So the back foot is going to come out, and it ends up being the new front leg. Okay, that is the pirouette version. That is the fanciest version. A less fancy version, let's say you don't want to turn at all. That's fine, okay? If you don't want to turn at all, you're going to have your right foot front. You're going to do pirouette, close back, change the susu, plie, pirouette, close back, change the susu, plie. So you have a passe that changes and a susu that changes. That was three sets. Tendu, prepare. Passe that changes, susu that changes. Passe that changes, susu that changes. Passe that changes, susu that changes. Tendu, écarté, and close it front. Now, let's say the passe you want to turn. Well, then go ahead. But maybe you don't feel ready to turn the sutenu. Then do the changing susu. Because the sutenu does change your feet. So basically, you can either choose to pirouette or not. Either the passe or the sutenu. Let's say I, I don't turn the passe. So I don't turn, but I do want to turn the sutenu because I think that that two-footed turn I'm ready for. I close back and then I sutenu. You can do that. All right, so I'm gonna say this is dancer's choice, right? Kind of like picking your sides. Do you want soup or salad with that? Hmm, do you want pirouette or no pirouette with that? I am going to do the pirouette version. I am also gonna say things like to the right, to the right, or maybe I'll cue you as to which foot ends up front. But also know that most importantly is that you're safe and that you don't pirouette into a lamp, right? Or anything else around you. If you wanna just work on your balances, that is a great choice. Also take note of your floor. You do not wanna do this on an area rug. And you might not even wanna do it on, on carpeting, right? Because that's not gonna give you a very good balance. And it could be hard on your knees or ankles, right? The ballet slipper is designed to be grippy yet slippery. I wouldn't want to do ballet class in jazz shoes because they're too grippy. And I wouldn't want to do ballet in bare feet because it would tear up the balls of my feet. All right. But I also wouldn't want to do ballet in slippery socks because I would wipe out. So don't do that either, right? All right. Be smart is what I'm saying. I don't want to hear any thudding out there of people hitting the deck. All right. Here we go. Pirouette from fifth. On day or away from your standing leg. We've been working on this stuff the entire class, so you are well placed. Right foot, turn right. Turn right, down, think about it, sutenu right. Turn right, down, sutenu right. Turn right, down, sutenu right. Time to the back leg. Let's go left. Turn or not. I'm a little bit dizzy. I'm liking it. Up and around, and see the same thing in your kitchen. Spot, spot, hello cupboard. Spot, hello cupboard. Spot, spot, and tendu. Maybe this is the no turn version, ready? Passe, close back, susu change. Passe, close back, susu change. Maybe you're still turning, go ahead. Go ahead and turn if you want to. I'm not going to. And tendu. Let's do the other side, left leg. Maybe passes, maybe turns. Left side, turning left. Turn left, switch feet, left foot front. Turn left, close back. Susu change. That's our last one, right? <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. And tandu. I got lost in the beauty of it all. And tandu. And finish. And last one, why not? Tandu. 
and finish. I'm okay with those little snafus. Yeah, I mean, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're just gonna learn. We're just gonna live and learn. Okay, now this one, this one is very fancy. And this class is getting a little long. I do hope you forgive me. Um, you might wanna stop right here and just go eat a mallow bar. Seriously, I don't know. I think there's some pretzels up there. Check your cover. I think there's, I think there, no, no, not that cover, the other one. No, the snack cover. Anyway, you might wanna just go eat pretzels. Or, if you dare, shh, come this way. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're gonna go to the far corner of your room. Pretend, I know this camera's on the diagonal. You guys are seeing me on the diagonal. But my audience, which is the clean dishes, not clean dishes. Okay, my audience is going to see me FSA, right? So I go FSA Tom Bay, ha du brave to a quasi, my audience leg is front, quasi, I'm gonna do a regular old and or pirouette. Bum, 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 you nailed it. <laughs> if I say it, you'll believe it, right? And now I'm gonna brush front through my first position. We did several things like this today. Releve to fourth, many pirouettes, or one hardly not dying, and land it. Now, you have a phrase of music to go to your other corner of your room, tickle the cat just a little bit. Hello, kitty, why do you have to be right there? <laughs> okay, get the cat out of the way, and then we do side left. Tom Bay, I'm sorry, that was bad. Tom Bay, ha de bray, fourth, pirouette, land it, brush, oh dear lord, brush, releve, fourth, pirouette, and land it. And then you have a phrase of music to walk away. So in theory, you actually, you could dance on either part of the music. You could dance on the part of the music when we're walking, or you can dance on the part of the music when we're dancing. Um, we could have two groups, right? And that's what we need to do. When there's like so many people, we have two groups. Or when we have one little kitchen, we have two groups. All right, so, tombe pas de pirouette from fourth, rush relevé, prepare, pirouette, and fourth. And same amount of music to walk to the other side. All right, here we go. This is like the culmination of everything we worked on, right? Pirouette en or. Very, very impressive. All right. Many tracks forward. Do, 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 do. Let me give you a non-turning version because there are people out there who, you know, maybe they're not fully confident in pirouettes yet and they shouldn't be doing them in their kitchen. I get that, seriously. Um, as you tombe pas de bourree, arabesque, susu, step, plie fourth, you can practice the back leg coming up and then the back leg returning. Now, just like we did in our rond de jambe, brush front, rise up, fourth, and you either can do this pirouette or not do this pirouette, up and down. Both pirouettes would go toward the lifted leg. All right, so both pirouettes go in the same direction until you do the other side. Okay, so that is the non-turn version. Maybe you work on the port de bras. It's all good. Maybe you work on the beautiful pot de bourree. Really? All those ingredients need attention and study. Play. Oh, I ora. Prepare. Tombe pas de bourre. Up, down. Rush, up, down. Pirouette, land. Walk, two, three, four. Maybe that was the other group dancing, right? Here we go. Tombe. Pas de bray, fourth, pirouette, land it, brush, releve, fourth, pirouette, land it, walk to your other corner. Group one, here we go. Tombe, pas de bourree, pirouette, land fourth, brush, rise fourth, pirouette, and down. Tombe, pas de bourree, fourth, pirouette, and down. Rush, releve, fourth. Pirouette and down. Tom Bay, pas de bray, fourth. Pirouette and down. Rush, releve, fourth. Pirouette, down. You walk or you dance. Three, four, five, 
Again, Ephesae. Ephesae, pas de bourrée. Pirouette, fourth. Rush, up, down. Pirouette, land it. Walk on your high demi points. Start with your upstage leg, away from the camera. Down, tall, tall, down. Turn, away from camera. Rush, up, down. Pirouette, land. Tendu, walk on your high demi points. Very last time, I promise. Down, up, up, down. Up, land. Rush, rise, forth. Pirouette, land. That was just a very clear study of the arms. Arms on bas. Through the first, open second. Down, up, up, forth. Pirouette, land. Rush, up, down. Pirouette, land. Tanu, then walk away. You don't want to mumble your dancing. Stand at fifth, and first, and third, and third, and third. And passe face the front, face me. Hi camera, hi camera. Close it back, here we go. Arms first, arms third, and third, and third. Face the camera, passe, or your computer screen. And all dancers, step right, step right, and bow. Step left, and bow, walk to your right. In a little circle. And step left to your audience, to your audience, reverence. Audience, audience, reverence. Let's walk to your right. And walk to your right. And finish as you wish, dancers. Thank you. This music just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. Go drink a big glass of water and remember any of this, because it's a recording, you can go back and laugh at me. No, I'm just kidding. You can go back and find out like what you need to work on again and take that time there and do it a couple times just thinking about the port de bras or do it a couple times and just think about the placement of the feet. It's all great. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with me. And I hope to see you again for Kitchen Classics with Melissa. Okay, this is where the sound guy and the camera guy would be cleverly ending this recording. Cleverly like that. Love you, bye.